Today I have for you a picking study. We're back on the acoustic guitar with the fingers and this one's got a bit of a modal twist. We're using some triad voicings and a consistent bass note here to give us a modal sound. We'll go firstly through the picking pattern and I'll show you exactly what's going on with these chords and why I chose them. And then for those of you keen to go a little bit deeper, I'll show you exactly why this is a progression in the key of G Mixolydian. Chat and the backing track used will be available as always for members of my Patreon group. Let's get stuck in. Looking first at the picking hand then, this has been written and designed so that the picking hand is constant. It's going to do the same thing through each of the chords. The thumb will be alternating between string 6 and 4. I'm grabbing the 3rd fret on string 6, the note G, and then the other strings are open as I do this. So giving the sound of a G chord. Phase 1 is the thumb alternating between string 6 and 4, which is going 6, 4, 6, 4. Now what we're going to do then is add in the index finger on string 3. He's going to pick string 3 in between the thumbs. So we do that every time. Then what we do, add in the middle finger, picking string 2. P-I-P-M, P-I-P-M, P-I-P-M. That's the pattern all the way through. So you start with picking the thumb on the beat. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Then the goal is do that double fat. The progression then is starting upon the G chord, so I'm using finger 3 to fret the G note. Nothing on string 5, open 4, open 3, open 2. And we can put our pattern to that. The second chord is then this. Which we're going to name C over G. We have a C chord in fingers 1 and 2. But that bass note, we're going to move on to string 6, the note G. It's back and forth, G, C over G. The third chord then is going to be an F chord. We're going to F triad, F, A, C on string set 2 there. But we need to keep grabbing the G bass note, so I'm going to use my pinky finger on the F note on string 4. So that there, you could name F over G. You could call it some kind of a G dominant chord, you could call it a G9, 11. Um, just for ease, we're going to call it F over G. The progression then is almost like a blues in that we're going to be on the G, then we go to the C over G, and then we go two measures of the G. Then we go two measures C over G, two measures of the G. Then we go F over G, to C over G, to G. G. And we do a quick C over G, taking us back around to the beginning. So for each measure there in the progression, we're going to be using that picking pattern twice. One, two, one, two, one, two. So we're in a count of two as we do this. So nice and slow, you have to be one, two, G. C over G. G. There we go, C over G. F over G, C over G, 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 
C over G back to G. C over G. 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 C over G. Again. G. G. F over G. So what makes this then a progression in the key of G mixolydian? Well firstly, the fact that the G note is consistent throughout really establishes to our ear the sense of G being the tonic, it's home, it's the one in our key. So on that basis, if we think of G as the one chord, then we have the notes of G, B, D. As the C chord comes in, and that gives us an additional two notes, that gives us the notes of C and E. So, that's looking like it could just be G major, it's a G to a C, a 1-4 in G major, right, G Ionian. But, if you look to what the F chord gives us, we have the extra notes of F and A, if we add those in, then we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G mixolydian. It shares the same notes as C major, but G is our tonic, so that is a one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. The notes of a G mixolydian mode. Mixolydian differs from the major scale in that the seventh scale degree is flattened, so G major, would expect an F sharp, but here we have, thanks to that F chord, an F natural. So this is G mixolydian. And on that basis, if you want to do a little improvising over this progression, you can do so with the G mixolydian scale. So there you go, I hope you found that enjoyable. If you did, please don't forget a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. As you do so, don't forget to ring that bell. So the tabs and the backing track used at the beginning will be available to all members of my Patreon group where you can help support my work and the channel for as little as $3 per month. If you'd like a little help with the study of the modes, I have my guitar mode study guide available for my online shop with a link in the description. If you head over there, you can also get your free copy of Fretboard Mastery, my ebook on learning the notes of the fretboard in just a few days. Thank you very much, practice well, and I'll see you soon.